you got this renegade cop who knows the minds of everything. We talked about this last mm-hmm. show. It's yep. a, it'd be a great TV show. Oh, yeah. He knew what they were going to do before they did it. And who knows if he's still, I don't even know. Did you watch it today? Is, is, did they identify this body yet? It's going to take days or weeks, but they did find a wallet with the driver's license that said Christopher. Oh, Gordon. that doesn't say anything. I've seen movies that have, just drop where it. they just put it right in his pocket. It's going to take found, a while. He could have found him a damn bear and dressed it up as a man and put a, put a, a Chris Dorn, because he looks like a bear. Well, but they're going to know eventually when they go to if pull his dental records. <laughs> Not just dental. I, I think you could probably and the look. Hair. Yeah, and the hair. I think you could probably look at a bear, even yeah. if it was burned, and know it was a bear without having to take dental records. Well, the police are still being really. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine that though? That they, there's a charred bear in a in a, in a cabin, and you got all these police from all these jurisdictions looking at this charred bear and saying, "Yep, that's Chris Dorner, all right." And then the one that realizes it goes, dang, he outsmarted us again. He outsmarted, boy, yeah, he didn't. He, he hasn't cut his fingernails in a while. Well, they are still being careful, and they are still protecting some LAPD families. Okay. So um, so we won't know forever until it's Chris Norton. But Yeah, anyway, so, I'm guessing a few weeks. So this, uh, so the yeah, but if this was CSI Miami, we'd know in, in 10 seconds. Right. We go right True. to the lab, and they test his DNA in two seconds. Right by the end of the hour, and, and yeah, and then and then the, the Mexican guy would say, "This is this is not Chris Dorner. It's actually a bear." Yes, it's a bear DNA. See, bears don't have the same DNA. 